and once again, welcome to the University of Alabama. In this module of the International Orientation, we will be talking about campus life at the University of Alabama and life in Tuscaloosa. If you would like to follow along in the orientation guide, uh, please go to page 12 and it will coincide with what we are talking about for this module. First of all, we would love to have you follow us on social media. Uh, our accounts are the UA International Student Scholar Services on Facebook, and on Instagram, we are also UA International Services. This is where we will post all of our information about upcoming events and programs and keep you up to date on anything important that's going on in the IS office. Now, when we talk about programming and events we have here at UA, one of the most popular events that we have is our Multicultural Coffee Hour. So on most Fridays from 11.30 to 1, located in the Intercultural Diversity Center at the Student Center, we will feature a different country each week. So this is where our students will come together and eat free food that we have made to celebrate and recognize the culture of a country that we have represented here on campus. Uh, we'll have foods, drinks, uh, fun games, uh, and uh, you can even learn a little bit of the language. So if you are available on Fridays from 11.30 to 1, I highly recommend attending this coffee hour because not only will you get some really cool food, but you'll also get to meet students from all over the world and Americans as well who love learning about other cultures and meeting new people. If you would like to make uh, more friends in another way, you can join some of our multicultural student organizations. As you can see, we have many, many organizations of all different cultures that you are welcome to join. We also have many clubs on campus that aren't based around culture, and you can find those located online at the source. If you would like to be connected with the community, I highly recommend joining Tuscaloosa's International Friends, or TIFF. This is a friendship family program where you will be paired up with an American family located in Tuscaloosa, and you'll meet up with them about once a month. And it's a great way to learn about American culture and share your own culture with Americans as well. So if you would like to be a part of that in August, you will be able to sign up using the student application form and be placed with a local family. Another great resource that we have here at UA is our International Peer Advisory Council, or IPAC. IPAC is a group of students that are dedicated to helping new international students feel at home at UA. Now this group is made up of, of both international students and domestic American students on all levels from freshmen to PhD students that are just so excited and love UA so much that they really want to help all new students feel more at home in Alabama. Now, these students help with our Global Tide groups, they help plan and facilitate our multicultural coffee hour, uh, and help us plan other events throughout the year that are really focused on international students and helping create this deep sense of community uh, here at UA. So if you ever have any questions or just want someone who has been around a little longer to help guide you through any issues, IPAC is a great resource um, for all students here at UA. So I mentioned earlier our Global Tide groups that IPAC is the leader of these groups. So Global Tide is a peer mentorship group comprised of IPAC members and new students. So there will be about two to three IPAC leaders for 10 to 20 students creating these small groups and it's a great way to get to connected. So you will have direct access with a peer leader to be able to ask any questions or you know just have someone to hang out with and they will plan events, you know, you can go to coffee hour together, get dinner together, hang out on campus, maybe go to a football game. And it is just a great opportunity to really get to know other international students uh, and be around people who kind of really understand what you're going through and make some really, really great friends. 
So you'll be able to learn more about campus, like I said, making friends and really becoming better adjusted to life in Tuscaloosa. So each semester we will have a Global Tide mixer where students who want to be a part of Global Tide will get paired up with their peer leaders based on availability and common interests. Uh, and then you'll be able to have that group for the rest of the semester. So if you're interested in joining Global Tide, watch our social media for when this Global Tide mixer will be. Another way to stay constantly up to date in addition to our social media is through the IS newsletter. So this will come through your email and it has bi-weekly updates, announcements and events, and really all important information that every international student needs to know. So this could even be information about traveling and getting your uh, travel signatures for your documentation or other really, really critical information you need to know uh, being an international student here at UA. So make sure to check your Crimson, your UA email, or you can forward the, your Crimson email to your personal account to make sure you always have access to these important newsletters and updates. Now we get to the really, really fun part of being here at the University of Alabama, and to me, those are our traditions. So if you know anything about our university, you know that the University of Alabama loves American football. It is a huge part of our culture and our university, and it, it really is what draws, especially Americans, here to our campus. Um, on football Saturdays, the, almost the whole city kind of shuts down and we are completely focused on the football game. So if you have a chance to get tickets or even watch it on TV with some friends who really know a lot about it, it is a critical experience to being here at the University of Alabama. Now, you may have heard our football team being referred to as the Crimson Tide. This comes from our main colors being crimson or red and white. Um, but as with many football names and traditions, it comes from a long time ago when uh, announcers saw during a game the football team ran out on the field and it looked like a flowing crimson tide or a wave coming in to take over the other team. And we have been known as the Crimson Tide ever since. Another huge tradition, and if you have downloaded the PowerPoint, you'll be able to click the link to our YouTube video for our school fight song called Yay Alabama. So I recommend listening along, learning the words, and if you ever go to a football game, every time we score a touchdown, everyone will stand up and cheer and start to sing Yay Alabama. And so it is such a fun experience to be able to sing along and just be a part of that crowd and really feel like you are a part of the University of Alabama. Another thing that you will see often is Big Al, who is our mascot. He is an elephant. You can see him in the picture below. And uh, he will often be around campus at big events, and you can take pictures with him, give him a hug. He'll be at all the sporting events. Uh, and it's just a really fun way to see our mascot here at UA. The whole university is often covered in pictures of elephants due to honoring Big Al. And so it's just something that is really important to our UA culture. Another iconic feature of the university is our Denny Chimes, which is our big bell tower that's located um, in the central area of campus. You will hear it ring every 15 minutes, and then on the hour it will ring the number of times of that hour it is. So if it is 6 o'clock, it will ring 6 times. Uh, this is just something that you will always see in iconography and other pictures representing the university. And finally, one of our biggest traditions is the phrase, Roll Tide. So, Roll Tide is something people from the University of Alabama use as almost everything. We will say it to greet one another, we'll say it as goodbye, we'll say it if we're really excited about something or if we're less excited about something. It's just a way um, for us to express kind of our community and our mutual connection to the university. So you can go almost anywhere in the world and if you're wearing, you know, a University of Alabama t-shirt or have some kind of the uh, A on your person, someone will come up to you and say, roll tide. And then in response, you say, roll tide back. So often during orientation, if you go through this, you'll have many, many people have you say, roll tide. 
So in addition to the fun things we get to do on campus, we also want to make sure all of our students are safe while they are here. One of the best ways to do that is to sign up for UA Alerts uh, and download the UA Safety app. So UA Alerts will send text messages to your phone, they will call you uh, if anything is concerning that you should be aware of. So if something is happening on campus, if there is bad weather, uh, you will get notified right away. Also with the UA Safety Lab, it will uh, give you more information on how to stay safe during these different kind of issues. Uh, it's also important to note that uh, the UA alerts will be tested once a month, usually the first Wednesday of the month, unless they're concerned about what the weather is and then they don't want to test it. Um, but if you are here during the first Wednesday of every month, you might hear sirens going off or get a call to your phone or something, and that's just testing it to make sure that it works in case we do need to use it for an emergency. And some of these emergencies inc include inclement weather. Uh, Tuscaloosa has, every once in a while, we'll have a storm or something, and we just want to make sure that all of our students are as safe as possible. So it's important to locate safe spaces inside of each of the buildings. Uh, if you download the app, they will tell you where the tornado shelters are on campus. Um, but usually a good rule of thumb is to be on the first floor, away from all doors and windows, and in the innermost room. Here you can see on the map where specific tornado shelters are located, um, but sometimes it's usually just best to stay where you are. Knowing the signs is very important. You'll hear the sirens going off. Like I said, they're tested the first Wednesday of each month, uh, so that usually doesn't indicate a storm. But if they go off on another time, make sure you're aware of what to do. Keep up to date with the news and radio and how best to stay safe. And finally, just be prepared. Uh, if you are at home or in your uh, dorm or apartment, make sure you always have water and a flashlight with batteries, non-perishable food, a first aid kit, and a portable phone charger in case the power were to go out and you needed to um, just kind of be prepared in case anything bad should happen. And I know many of our international students come from places that do not have tornadoes frequently. In Tuscaloosa, we don't have them too often, but it is best to know kind of some terminology that we use when talking about tornadoes. So oftentimes, if you are listening to the news or to the weather, uh, they will talk about either a tornado watch or a tornado warning. And there's important differences between these two words. So a tornado watch means that a storm has been spotted that has the ability to produce the tornado. So in the kind of funny picture I have here, you can see the cupcake watch it means it has all of the ingredients to make a cupcake, but you wouldn't say that any of those ingredients by themselves are a cupcake. So there is not a cupcake made yet. Whereas with a tornado warning, that means a tornado has been spotted and has touched down. So like with the cupcake warning, a cupcake is existing and there is one there. And that's when you really need to take shelter and start being prepared. Whereas with the watch, you just kind of keep paying attention, make sure you have all your supplies and everything in place and are prepared if it were to turn into a tornado warning. Uh, another way to make sure you are safe on campus is to know how to interact with the police. Now, we have two different kinds of police officers here in Tuscaloosa. We have our campus PD, um, our, or we call them the UAPD, the University of Alabama Police Department. Uh, and they are what make sure that everything on campus stays safe. And then we have our Tuscaloosa Police Department, and they make sure that the city and the county of Tuscaloosa is safe as well. Now, interacting with police is something you will probably do at some point. We have police liaisons um, who just uh, love working with international students. You'll often see them at Multicultural Coffee Hour. They love stopping by and just checking in to see how everyone is doing, and they are such nice and lovely people. Um, however, it is important that you know how to interact with police officers if for any reason you run into them. So make sure you always stay calm and respectful. Uh, sometimes when you're interacting with police, it's in a not nice or 
good situation, but you need to always try your best to stay calm. Do not argue with a police officer, or it's very important that you not do not try to bribe them in any way. If you do get a driver's license and learn how to drive and maybe get pulled over for a speeding ticket, you cannot attempt to bribe the officers uh, as that is illegal in the United States. And so make sure to listen to everything that they're saying. Uh, if you have trouble understanding, make sure they know you're an international student and uh, try to uh, do whatever you can to make sure the interaction goes smoothly. Another thing with that is to make sure your hands are visible to the officers at all times. Don't have them in your pockets or behind you or make any very fast movements. As to them, they are trained to look for weapons. And so if, they, if the police officers can't see your hands, they will uh, assume you might have something in them that can hurt the police officers. And so they will be more cautious around you and then you could get hurt in the end. So make sure your hands whether you're pulled over in the car or approaching an officer, that you just have your hands by your side or in front of you so that they know um, that everyone is safe in this situation. If you were to need the police in any way, uh, make sure you are able to reach out for them. So it's important to save these numbers in your phone if you can. If you are on campus in your dorm, at a, um, walking around at a dining center and you need a police officer for any reason, uh, their phone number is 205 Three four eight five four five four. If it is an emergency, if someone is, you know, dying or it, you know, it's very very important, call nine one one. That can happen. You can call them from anywhere, whether it's on campus or off campus. Always know if it's an emergency, nine one one. If you are off campus in town, maybe you have an apartment somewhere else, uh, then you would call the Tuscaloosa Police Department. So their number is two zero five three four nine two one two. And finally, we get to one of my favorite parts, which is just the city of Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa is a beautiful town that is completely surrounded by nature, and I know you will love being here. We have lots of shopping centers uh, and grocery stores that sell a variety of different kinds of foods. Um, we have some Asian grocery stores, some specialty grocery stores, um, and then American grocery stores such as Publix or Walmart that you will be able to access. Um, Publix is the one most often utilized by students as it is within walking distance from campus. We also have tons of restaurants and coffee shops. I know it is a fun activity for students on campus to find their favorite coffee shop and that is where they like to study or hang out, go Saturday mornings. There's lots of different options. Like I said, Tuscaloosa is surrounded by nature. So the picture you see here is of our Tuscaloosa River Walk. So right next to campus, we have the Black Warrior River. And uh, this kind of walking trail that runs along the side of the river is very, very close to campus. And in the building, you can kind of see on the left, uh, they have tons of activities there. But my favorite one is every Saturday morning, they will have a farmer's market, which is very close to campus. You can walk to it and buy fresh fruits and vegetables and bread and honey from farmers located it within Alabama. And it's just a great way to really connect with the community. There's many, many lakes really close to Tuscaloosa, walking trails, hiking areas. Um, and if you want to get more involved with that, our University Recreation Center has classes and activities where they will take you to uh, these nature areas. Another great part of to the location of Tuscaloosa is how close we are to major cities. So we are about three and a half to four hours from Atlanta in Georgia. Um, we're an hour from the city of Birmingham, which is where many people fly into if you're flying into um, the United States. There they have many specialty grocery stores or things that you would most often find in a bigger city. Then we are about six hours from New Orleans. We're about four hours from the city of Memphis. Um, there are many, many fun cities really relatively close by um, if you're able to drive or take a bus. And then that comes down to transportation. So we do have some transportation options here in Tuscaloosa. There's a campus bus system that goes around the campus and then we'll take some trips to different stores and shopping centers so you can buy supplies that you may need. We also have the Tuscaloosa trolley as well as um, bus systems, a train system, 
and uh, other personal services such as cabs, Ubers, Lyft, that sort of thing. All of our transportation options can be found on the ISSS website um, under our transportation category. So just to wrap it up, uh, once again, if you have any questions, please stop by our office. We are open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 445. If you have a quick question or um, want some advice on something, feel free to walk in during our walk-in advising hours or hop on Zoom. That is anytime Monday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Because once again, Friday, we're all at coffee hour. <laughs> Um, if you'd like to see us in person, our location is 105 BB Comer Hall, and our website is international.ua.edu slash ISSS. And you're welcome to email us if you would like at international at ua.edu and call us at 205-348-5402. We are so excited you have decided to join us at the University of Alabama, and we can't wait for you to make Tuscaloosa your home.